Rather than spending loads of money on crypto mining equipment, not to mention all of the money that you need to pay for the energy bills to run all of these machines, wouldn't it be smarter to just buy crypto instead of mining crypto? That's a question that I get a lot. So in this video today, I'm going to compare mining with buying crypto and we're going to crunch the numbers and we're going to compare the best case and worst case scenarios so that you can decide for yourself which one is the best for you. We might be entering the biggest crypto bull market that we've seen in history and we've got a window of opportunity to make life-changing money in the crypto market if you play your cards right and if you're excited about all of the money making opportunities in the crypto space right now make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel to get more valuable videos and tutorials like these i put a lot of effort into making videos and content that you will not find on any other youtube channels i also need to clarify that i am not a financial advisor nothing in this video is financial advice this video has been made for educational purposes only always do your own research whenever you're making an investment with that out of the way let's get started Great, before we draw a conclusion which investing strategy is better, we first need to set the stage and explain how each of these strategies actually work. And probably the easiest one to start off with is buying crypto. Whenever you're buying crypto on an exchange, basically what you're doing is you're trading your money for crypto and the price of that crypto is determined by supply and demand. The price of the crypto token on the day that you make your purchase determines how much of the token you're actually getting. So let me illustrate this by a quick and easy example. Let's say that this crypto project is worth $10 per token and you invest $100. This means that you can get 10 tokens on the day of your purchase. Now, what do you do after that? Well, there are two things that you can basically do. Um, you can sell it, meaning that if the project has gone up in value, you make a profit. If the project has gone down in value, you make a loss. The second thing that you can do is you can hold on to your crypto project or the token that you've just purchased. And maybe in one year from now, it has increased in value further, or maybe it has decreased. Anyway, um, yeah, there's two things that you can do. You can sell it or you can hold on to it. Now, let's have a look at crypto mining. Basically, what you're doing when you're mining crypto is you're buying equipment that can produce that crypto at a discount. Your mining profitability is similar like any other business. It's revenue minus cost equals your profit. Your costs are mainly the cost of your electricity and the cost of your machines. Your revenue is determined by how much crypto you've mined and the value of that crypto. So as long as your revenue exceeds the cost of your electricity bill, you're making money as a miner. There's also another way to look at crypto mining. That's basically that your machines allow you to buy crypto at a massive discount. And the higher the price of that crypto becomes, the bigger your profit margin as a crypto miner becomes. And generally mining a crypto makes sense if you expect that the price of a certain crypto project is going to increase over the long term. Now, you have two options what you can do with your mine tokens. Option number one is you can sell it right after you mine it. So to illustrate this again with a quick and easy example, let's say that you mine one token today, that token is worth $10, but your electricity bill is $5. So that means that today you've made a $5 profit. So the second option that you have is to hold on to your crypto and potentially take profits at a later point where ideally the price of that crypto project is much higher. So again, let's look at an example. Today you mine one token, but instead of selling it today, you uh, decide to hold on to it for one year. And in one year, this token is worth $20 and then you pay your electricity bill. So after deducting your energy costs, you're left with a profit of $15. Keep in mind that in this scenario, you basically need to fund the electricity bill out of your own pocket until you take profit and cash out your crypto. So many crypto miners actually do this because they are aware that the fiat money that they're holding in their bank account is only becoming worth less over time while uh, most of the crypto that they're mining is only increasing in value over time. There is another important factor to take into account over here, which is that the investment in the mining equipment is a separate investment by itself. The value of these machines fluctuate basically based on the hype in the market. So if the price of a particular crypto project increases over time, then also the value of your machine can appreciate in value over time. And you can actually sell machines with a profit. This is not a guarantee, of course, it depends on where you are in the market cycle, but it is an asset that has a certain amount of value. And some miners 
um, also flip their machines if they see a favorable opportunity in the market. You can also compare this to investing in a rental property. So you make an initial investment to buy real estate, then you get uh, tenants. These tenants basically pay you some monthly rental income. Uh, with this income, you basically pay for your mortgage and your maintenance costs. If you've done it the right way, you'll get a nice positive cash flow every single month that's hitting your bank account. And after a few years, you can decide to sell this property. And if you've purchased the right property, then you can even make a nice profit on the sale of that real estate as well. Something similar can happen with mining as well. You can invest in a mining machine. You can mine a few years or a period very profitably. And then after a while, if the market has gone up a lot, you even have the opportunity to sell that machine at a profit. Now let's compare the advantages of these two investing strategies. Let's start with buying crypto first. Probably the most obvious advantage is that it's very simple and straightforward. Anyone can make an account on a crypto exchange and with a few clicks of a button, deposit money and purchase your first crypto. Another advantage is that you know right away how much crypto you're actually getting. But the downside of this strategy is that you're 100% tied to the price of the crypto project at the moment that you are purchasing that uh, particular token. If the market has gone up, then you'll be able to buy less of that token. If the market has gone down, you're lucky, then you can buy a little bit more. But this is completely out of your control. Also, the act of spending money is often associated with emotional pain. People don't like to fill in their credit card details and, and spend their hard earned money on something. So whenever you're doing this in a manual way, your emotions tend to be uh, involved or to get involved. People love to buy on red days. When something is pumping and it seems to be only going up, that's when people spend all of their money because they think they're going to be instantly rich overnight. Whereas if the market is red, people tend to be very fearful and don't want to invest their money in something. But actually the red days are the best days to buy great projects at a big discount. So here you see when emotions get in the way and the more manual your buying and selling process becomes, the more prone you are to make the wrong decisions. Now, what are the advantages of crypto mining? Well, it is completely automated and it produces a great cash flow, meaning that as long as your revenue exceeds your cost of your energy, you're basically making a daily profit. And this is completely passive. It's not like those business models on the internet that are presented as passive, like drop shipping or affiliate marketing, but in reality require a lot of hard work to, uh, to get them going. Also, because you're mining that crypto, you get the opportunity to acquire that crypto at a massive discount, which you wouldn't get if you would buy that crypto on the open market. So you have more control over your acquisition price. And also because you've automated the whole process, you're taking your emotions out of the equation. In addition to the crypto that you're mining and that are accumulating in your wallet, you also own a machine which has a certain value. This value could potentially increase or maybe not, or maybe it decreases, but you can always still sell that machine to recoup some of your investment. And the final advantage of crypto mining is that there's literally no limit to how much you can make. Let me explain. As long as your revenue exceeds your uh, monthly cost, then you're basically profitable and it makes sense to keep your machines on for as long as you are profitable. Whereas if you would buy crypto on the open market, you exchange your money for crypto and that's it. Then the amount of crypto that you get is fixed. So I've put together this um, sheet where I'm going to uh, compare a few different scenarios of mining versus buying crypto. We're first going to start with buying crypto. So these are the initial parameters that we're going to be working with. Our initial investment is going to be $5,000. Um, the coin that we're going to be purchasing is worth $1 today. The final coin price in 730 days, that's roughly two years, that's around $10. So this coin is going to increase 10X. So let's first have a look at this column. So we have just spent $5,000. We've got no other cost. Um, as a result, we own 5,000 tokens of this crypto project. Today, at this current uh, value, these tokens are worth $5,000. We don't own any other assets and we don't have any profit because the purchase price is equal to the current value. So yeah, it's, it's zero profit today. However, let's have a look at the next column, which is the last day. So this is in 730 days from now. So in this scenario, we have spent $5,000, which we did today. Um, 
We have no other cost than our initial investment in the project. We own 5,000 tokens, but these tokens have increased in value with a factor of 10, which means that we now have $50,000 worth of these crypto projects. After subtracting our initial investment of $5,000, we are left with a profit of $45,000, which is really nice. That's a nice ROI. Now let's look at the scenario where we're going to be mining crypto instead of buying this same crypto. So let's say that our mining revenue is 10 tokens every single day. Um, the electricity cost is $5 per day. And we assume that since the price of this crypto project increases 10x, that we have an appreciation of the value of our hardware. In this case, with a factor of two, but we can play around with any one of these numbers at a later stage. So let's look at how mining compares to buying in this scenario. So we invest $5,000 today. We have no other cost. We've got zero coins because we still need to buy everything. The coins have zero value because there's nothing that we've mined, so there's no value yet. And we own mining equipment, which is worth $5,000. So instead of $5,000 that we spent on tokens, we now use that $5,000 to buy mining equipment. Now let's have a look at our result in 730 days. Uh, so we've spent $5,000 on mining equipment. We have some other costs, which are basically our electricity costs. Um, and as a result, we have mined 7,300 coins. And these coins have a value. Their value is $73,000 because the, the value of this coin has gone to $10 per coin. Um, we also own other assets because the mining equipment in this scenario has increased in value with a factor of two. Um, so if we deduct all of our costs, then we will be left with a final profit of $74,000, a little bit more than $74,000. If you compare that to the final profit of buying uh, the crypto projects uh, outright, then you can see that mining has a lot higher profit than simply buying it. We can even assume that the value of the hardware has gone to zero. So you completely write off the hardware. Then in this case, you can see that the final profit is still a lot higher than if you yeah, buy Bitcoin on the open market. Let's say that you are able to sell your hardware for exactly the same price as you bought it. So in addition to the coins that you've mined, you can also sell your machines and make a little bit more money. Then still, um, yeah, this would be higher. Now let's have a look at a higher coin price. So let's say that the coin goes 20X. Well, in this scenario, you see that your profit when you're buying goes up. So we have reached almost 95K in profit. But in this scenario, and I'm going to take a worst case scenario that your machine isn't worth anything, uh, you still have a lot higher ROI with mining. Now let's check out another scenario where your coin is actually not increasing in value, but after 730 days, it is the same. So the initial coin price today is $1. Uh, $1 and in 730 days, it is still uh, $1. We set the hardware appreciation to one. So in this case, you see that you have zero profit when you're buying crypto because the initial investment is just equal to what the investment is right now. So there's no profit. Um, with mining, because you are able to uh, produce these tokens below the market value, you're actually able to get more tokens as a result. So you would have $5,000 worth of tokens. And in the case of mining, you've got $7,300 worth of tokens. But of course, you also have electricity costs, but you also own mining hardware, which you could in theory sell to make uh, some money back. So in this case, I made the scenario where you can sell your mining hardware for exactly the same amount that you've purchased, but let's insert a factor of a half, then you still make money. What if your machine is worth 0.3 times what you've bought, then you're still making a small profit. So in many cases, these worst case scenarios are not really that bad. But if you look at what you stand to make more when you're mining crypto, then yeah, it can get very interesting, especially 
when the value of the token goes up. So let's look at that scenario again. Let's say that the value of the token goes to $10, but you mine longer. So many of these machines are actually able to work for four to five years. And then you see that whenever you're taking this on a four year time horizon, well, probably after four years, your machines are done and there's no more residual value, then you still see that you are able to make a lot more with crypto mining with the same amount of money you buy crypto versus using that same amount of money to buy mining equipment. What we've seen from the sheet that I've just shown you is that over the long term, mining crypto can actually become a lot more profitable than buying crypto on the open market but it requires a little bit more time and you need to be a little bit patient. Hopefully now you understand how crypto mining compares to buying crypto and why I'm such a huge fan of mining crypto. If you've got good value out of watching this video, make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel for more because I'm going to be consistently uploading more valuable videos and tutorials to help you to get an edge as a crypto investor. And I also recommend you to check out these two videos which I've linked up here. And um, with that being said, Peace out, see you on the next one.